Welcome to Oschersleben for round one of ADAC GT4 Germany in the basis McLaren GT4. Just arrived at the circuit, we are on track tomorrow, uh, there's a few things we need to do before then. Uh, and we've got the steer by wire system fitted, so more on that in a later video. Uh, but for now, um, just uh, we, we've got track walk coming up, driver's briefing, all of that sort of thing um, before we can get on circuit tomorrow. Uh, and we've got a couple of test sessions uh, on, on the Friday and then we go into qualifying on Saturday uh, with a race and then same again on Sunday. So let's see how we get on. So there's a few things we need to do before we get out on circuit. Uh, we're just about to head out on a track walk. Uh, and then we've got some uh, media stuff to do, driver's briefing, talk to the engineers, seat fit, radio check, all of that sort of thing. Uh, and then we should be in a good place to, uh, to make a start tomorrow morning. So this is, uh, we do this every weekend, just head around the circuit with the engineers, the other drivers, make sure everyone's on the same page, talk about the setup, talk about the, uh, you know, what lines and curves to take and not take, and all of that sort of stuff. So, Friday, testing. Um, slightly damp at the moment, but uh, hoping that clears up. Uh, and then we go into qualifying and racing uh, Saturday and Sunday. So uh, I'll keep you updated. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so what's the all It's <laughs> So testing for us is starting with a known setup. So we started how it finished uh, at Oschersleben last year. And then between sessions we gather up the data from the car. There's a lot of data to assess from there. And obviously all the driver feedback as well. Talk to the engineers. And then decide on what to do for the next session. So we're just making a couple of uh, tweaks to the setup now. And, uh, and we'll see how they go in the second session. Today we've been testing, so it's end of day one. Uh, we've had a couple of sessions today, and uh, it's, it's been about getting to grips with the uh, the new steering system. Uh, we made a couple of calibration changes to that, and we've got lots of data to go through now with the engineers, uh, and of course our driver feedback, and uh, we'll decide on what changes we need to make for um, for qualifying in the morning. Let's see how we get on. So day two in Oschersleben, Chris is going to be doing the quality this morning and then I'll do qualifying tomorrow. So he starts the race this afternoon and I start the race tomorrow. So it worked. Finished race one, uh, finished P8, which uh, which isn't a bad result uh, for us around uh, Oschersleben. It's not really a circuit that suits the McLarens too well, uh, particularly over the race distance. So um, yeah, we'll go through all, uh, all the data again with the engineers and we'll um, We'll decide what to do for quality in the morning. Uh, so second qualifying tomorrow, I'm doing that, uh, and then uh, and then we're going to race two, which I'll be starting in the afternoon. So race two done. P5 from P11 on the grid. Uh, so very happy with that result. Um, that's uh, that's good, solid race, and uh, we had a good pit stop. We had decent pace, uh, certainly for, um, for for us around this circuit. It's always a tricky circuit for us. So um, yeah, about as good as we uh, we could have done today, really. Um, so we uh, we now look forward to Red Boring in a few weeks' time. It's a bit more of a McLaren circuit there, so uh, I'm feeling confident of, uh, of an even better result.